Can you read now Surah Al-Qasas, verse number 55? A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim, bismillahir rahmanir rahim, wa idha sami'u allah wa a'radu anhu wa qalu lana a'maluna wa lakum a'malukum. وَلَكُمْ أَعْمَالُكُمْ سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ لَا نَبَتَغِ الْجَاهِلِينَ سورة الأحزاب ويس 45 يا أيها النبي إنا أرسلناك شاهدا ومبشرا ونذيرا سورة طاها 73 سورة طاها 73 إنا آمنا بربنا ليغفر لنا خطايانا وما أكرهتنا وما أكرهتنا عليه من السحر والله خير وأبقى الشاطع. The miracle of memorizing the Quran is uh, is truly wondrous. You find that uh, people from a very young age memorize the whole Quran from cover to cover meticulously. There's over 6,000 verses in the Qur'an. Uh, to be able to memorize all of that is truly a miracle. One of the miracles that Allah gave to this Ummah is that He's put in our hearts the love for the Qur'an. He's put in our hearts the love for our scripture. The love that the Muslims have for the Qur'an is not the same as other religious groups have for their scripture. And the proof of this is that the Qur'an is still in its original form. Uh, it's memorized by millions of people. There's no other book. There's never been a book in the history of humanity that has been memorized and preserved in the way that the Quran has. Doesn't matter which corner of the world you go to, you will find Muslims memorizing, preserving and reciting the Quran in the same way that it was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from Jibreel, from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. I started studying Quran when I was in Somalia at a young age and it was the proper culture at the time. Children will start age of three, age of four, and they will learn the writing of the Quran, the Osmanic script, not the normal Arabic writing. In Mauritania, we came across a couple of the students of the Quran, and they, they would memorize the Quran on wooden board, if you want to call it. They call it Allah in Arabic. They would write the page of the Quran that they would memorize, and then they would memorize it. And then when they finish memorizing this page and making it very strong, it becomes so strong that they don't need it anymore. They, they basically wash it off this, um, the, law, the, the board that they memorized. So obviously there are different ways of memorizing the Qur'an. In the West, Mauritania and uh, Morocco, this is how they do it. ما أنزلنا عليك القرآن لتشقى إلا تذكرة لمن يخشى تنزيلا ممن خلق الأرض والسماوات العلا. So after I had, you know, become Muslim, I had the opportunity to meet a few people who had, who had memorized the Quran. And when I met them, the idea just instantly came into my heart that I want to do that too. Uh, I didn't know how I was going to do that. I remember telling one sister, actually an Arabic-speaking sister, when I was only like, you know, in my early 20s, I was telling her, I want to memorize the Quran by the time I'm 30. And she actually laughed at me. Actually, the way I started memorizing the Quran in the very beginning, many of you may have seen copies of the, the Quran that have the transliteration in them. Right, So I couldn't read Arabic in the beginning, but I wanted to memorize. So I used to write out that, copy out that transliteration and then write the English underneath until I became very familiarized with the Arabic script. And I slowly moved on to the Arabic script and started memorizing from that. Um, but after having taken 20 years to memorize it, I, I kind of can see why now she, she found it quite, you know, incredulous that I'm, you know, I had that goal. Um, but look, I just was very determined. I really, I made it my goal that inshallah, Ya Rabbil Alameen, I want to I die with this, this, this Qur'an in my heart. 
you want to finish the whole Quran? Yeah. And why do you want to finish the whole Quran? Um, I want to get the ajr of like memorizing the whole Quran because um, on the day of judgment, my parents will have crowns on their heads unlike some other parents. I want to try and finish the Quran and then I want to be able to teach it because um, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, خَيْرُكُمْ مَنْ تَعَلَّمَ الْقُرْآنَ وَعَلَّمَهُ The best of you are those who learn the Quran and then teach it. Yeah, so min fadlillahi ta'ala, actually four of my kids have memorized the Quran. Uh, my, my eldest, Jamal, alhamdulillah, he finished when he was 14. I've got two sons that have memorized the Quran. I've got six other more children. Alhamdulillah, I'm a hafiz of the Quran and I've memorized it almost three years ago. I memorized the Quran in 2018. Alhamdulillah. The Quran was my life with my kids. We go to school 20 minutes, we memorize. We come from school 20 minutes. Yani it was something that I really enjoyed. From the time that my children were born, I had the Quran read to them. I would read and I would have a CD player on for them to listen to the Quran, to familiarize themselves with the articulation of the Arabic language. First, first Arabic Quran school, it was in this garage in Australia maybe 40, 40 years ago. I get all my children and the three children, about 19 of them, and I make a school for them here. I teach them Quran and Arabic in this garage here. From a young age, I'd always go to the mosque with my grandfather and my dad. And so even though I memorize the Quran, I feel like most of the credit has to go to my dad because he's the one that showed me how to do things, when to do things, and why we do things. It was my dad's kind of like, you know, dream, I could say, for me to become a Hafiz. And of course, you know, the importance of becoming a Hafiz, um, you know, entering Jannah and living according to the Quran was, inshallah, the most important point of becoming a Hafiz. How does that make you feel when you look at your children and they can read the Quran? I, I, I'm very proud. Very proud, said, Alhamdulillah, I put the seeds and the seeds now make a tree and the tree make fruit now so the birds can eat, people can eat, you know. Everybody get benefit from the good thing. I am the proudest mother in the whole world and I think I am the happiest mother in the whole world. Having my two boys and my girls, Alhamdulillah, uh, I think my life is complete. If they would give me a million dollars, millions of dollars, or they tell me I own Australia, Kileta, or you teach your kids the Quran, I would say, teach my kids the Quran. I'm very proud of them. You know, for me, the greatest joy is, for example, listening to them as an adult, you know, going about their daily life, you know, reciting the Quran wherever they go, whether in their car or at home. I think to me that, that gives me the greatest joy, just knowing they've got that for life. You know, you've given your kids this Quran you know, subhanAllah, for them to have for, the, for their life. Al-Imam al-Shatabi, he says in his poem, he says, glad tidings to your parents. On them, on the Day of Judgment, will be malabisu anwarin min al wal hula, illuminating clothes of uh, a cloak and, and a crown. Then he says after that, فَمَا ظَنُّكُمْ بِالنَّجْلِ عِنْدَ جَزَائِهِ So what do you think the reward will be for the one who actually memorized the Qur'an? When I first went to Turkey, um, I didn't know much. Uh, I only knew just Anna, and they didn't really like how the uh, process of my uh, recitation. I had days where um, I would cry because I can't do a page. And you know, not seeing your family for a month or so was very tough as a kid, as a, as a child. You've just got to be ready for to go through that process, but like it is so worth it. You know, if you can just get over that initial stage, yes, it's a lot of hardships and you might feel frustrated sometimes, but be in there, just always remember that the amount of reward that inshallah you're going to get, it will never be lost with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The whole journey of memorizing the Quran, it's like, you know, the mushaf, the Quran becomes your, like your best friend. Wherever you go, the Qur'an goes with you. You know, you're holding your mushaf wherever you go, from class to home. So realistically, if you want to memorize the Qur'an, I can say you need to be able to find at least one or two hours in your day, every day, to sit, you know, and memorize and, and revise. That's the reality. So you need to be committed to do that. I can assure you, my own journey with the Qur'an was not without struggles. 
I embarked on the journey to attain certification to teach the Quran and I thought I'd complete the journey in one year. And during that time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed me with three more children in very close time to each other. So for each of us, the Quran is our personal journey. And ultimately, what does Allah look at to, when He rewards us? It's our ikhlas, you know, our sincerity, and also, you know, how much we've strove to, you know, to um, achieve that particular goal, be even in that. And once we, you know, purify our intention that we are doing this solely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to get closer to Him, then, you know, we would succeed. Not, even if we don't complete the journey with the Qur'an, as long as we are on that path and we start today, things will progress, inshallah. If it takes a year, 10 years, 20 years, let the journey continue. I also learned that the level of Jannah you will go to depends on how much you've memorized. So if you memorize the whole Qur'an, then obviously you're going to go to the best type of Jannah. Indeed, the reward in the hereafter that is promised for those who memorize the Book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is for those who memorize and act upon it, those who implement. And the first step to that, of course, is uh, to actually understand the meanings of what one is reciting. So they do memorize, but my husband and myself encourage them to understand what they are reading rather than rote memorization. If we are only memorizing for the sake of memorizing, we're not getting the true message. We need to allow those verses to touch our hearts and transform our lives. فالقرآن من يعيش معه يعيش في ظلال القرآن يتدبر القرآن ويطبق القرآن في حياته بقدر الاستطاعة وكما يقولون يعني أو يصفون أهل القرآن تجد فيهم صلاح وتجدهم يعني كأنهم قرآن يمشي على الأرض. What that means is that I try to the best of my ability in all aspects of my life to try and find out what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from me in the Qur'an al-Kareem and I try to apply that in my life. فتجد هذا الشخص سبحان الله تشعر فيه بصلاح وبأخلاق وتشعر أنك تريد مجالسته وتكون بجواره وتشعر فيه بالصحبة الطيبة حامل المسك. So that's really the process of memorizing. You know, memorizing but also ensuring that you're understanding, implementing and then continually thinking and contemplating it to yourself. That's where you get spirituality, that's where you get that connection to the Qur'an and the connection to Allah. You know, uh, memorizing the Qur'an, it's, uh, it's a milestone that... Uh, it's a bit hard to explain, but... Uh... I remember the day where I, I finished my hafiz, um it was uh, very, very emotional, you know, becoming a half year after I gave my last page, uh, my sheikh started to cry, I cried, and it's just a very good feeling. And I remember the day when I finished, where I finished the last, uh, the last surah of the Qur'an there. Yeah, it was, it was very special, it was very special. When I finished the Qur'an and memorized, the most happiest day was that day, and I still remember, because the, the mu'allim has to be given an animal, or value of an animal. And I remember my Ma'alim was given a cow, the value of a cow, not the cow actually. And, and I remember the Ma'alim was making dua for me and saying that you have graduated and uh, I have earned also my, my cow. And I never forget that. And when we go to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what is your anticipation from this? I don't know what to say. I just ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the highest level of Jannah and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He knows it's our intention. He knows that the goal that what we want in life for me and for my children and for our Amman, I pray that to God that my kids will be role model and be influenced for other people to want to do the same thing so that we all can be in Jannah, until then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, as much as I loved you, Ya Allah, and I love the Quran, that's how I want it's a gift from me, for my kids. I don't know what to say, I just lost words. Just a super baby.